Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Is today the day? Will we begin to see the real part of the team of the year market crash that we have been talking about now for a number of days? We've started seeing prices drop off in the past week and a half or so, but will today, six days before the team of the year promo starts, will today be a huge day for price drop offs and a lot of panic selling on FIFA. History says that today could be that day based off of what happens most of the time one week before we have big promos like team of the year, team of the season, or even earlier this year with the World Cup promos and Black Friday. The week before that big promo happens, usually we see some big drop-offs on the market. We're already starting to see a bit of drop-off, not a ton, but I have seen some prices tonight. And the way the market reacted yesterday to the Foot Centurions promo, it was a really stale market yesterday. And not a lot of prices moved as they normally do on Fridays. I think that worries me a bit. Today could be a day where we see some cards on this game and on this market really start to drop off into the team of the year hype. So we'll talk about that in today's video and what to expect today on a Saturday. We're getting the mini release today, not tomorrow on Sunday. EA have even told us that on their webpage about the Centurions promo. So we're going to talk about that, what to expect content-wise, what might be upcoming with some packs and those cards that are in the mini release. And I want to go over the content that we had yesterday as well in the Centurions Team 2 promo. So if you're excited for the video today, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this market because like I said, team of the year is only six days away and this is the common time where we start to see prices drop off. Now, as I take a look at the market right now, I'm seeing something that I normally don't see on a late Friday night, early Saturday morning on this market. I don't see very high prices. As a matter of fact, this Mbappe yesterday was at his highest just before content, 790,000 coins for Mbappe. Since the content drop, he's been between 770, 780. Now he's kind of just chilling around that 770 range. A lot of card prices from what I have witnessed and looked at from just clicking through some prices here in the past 25 to 30 minutes, a lot of things have just stayed the same, if not started to just drop off, which is uncharacteristic for this time of the week, because a lot of time we're looking at prices that are inflated at this time of day, right? Heading into a Saturday where a lot of people are keeping some of their main cards in their team and using players because it's the weekend league, right? You need your best players in the weekend league squad that you're running to get the best finish possible, right? That's kind of how it goes. The weekends have the highest amount of demand for cards in this market. Look at the 88 Tamori. He was 530k all day yesterday. He is down to 500,000 coins flat. And even the inform Tamori, I think was like 250 at one point yesterday. Yeah, you can see here 240 highs, almost 250k. And he is now down to 235,000 coins. It's just seeming like the market is starting to, it's, it's like a, a leaking faucet, if you will. It's just starting to drop down just a little bit. And I think today might be one of those days where we see some more people start to sell. Because of course, as we head out of this promo and i mean even as we're in this promo the height for what we have in the centurions promo right now is not that crazy right a lot of people look at this promo and they say oh wow a very expensive zlatan a very expensive Verratti, a cool royce card a very expensive um Mohamed Salah, and then a couple other cool cards in there like Fred, maybe Asper the Quest that you can try for a pretty cheap price, right? Other than just the top tier kind of cards in this promo, it's just kind of an average promo. And a lot of people are like, the content's just average. And that helps the market crash and people are not really motivated to go out and try new cards. And especially with team of the year looming, I just feel like today might be a not so good day for the market. I'm not trying to sit here and trying to develop uh, a market crash. I'm not trying to tell you guys to sell because I know a lot of you guys have already sold cards uh, in previous days and maybe even weeks before this, right? In the preparation for this market crash. And I mean, I take a look at some prices. This Conte is 799,000 coins. He was 970 yesterday. Now, part of the reason this price might be down as much as it is, which to be honest, I think it's down too much for a one day drop. 970k for Conte yesterday, just to show you the graph. His price started dropping after content, which tells me two things. Number one, his price is probably affected by the brand new Declan Rice center defensive mid SBC, even though when you look at this card and you compare it to Conte, the stats are pretty similar. This card is 
probably not going to be as good in game as Conte is. And with the number of down votes that he has on his card, I did not know this SBC would make this much of a panic to a 970,000 coin Conte on the market. I think that this Conte was overvalued in the first place. And I think that's where you're going to see the biggest amount of market drop off today. Maybe some of those promo cards from previous promo teams. Again, we just came out of a winter wild cards promo that dropped us a lot of really cool cards, but some of them are very expensive, right? I think this Kimmich is due for a big price correction. I think that this Gabriel Jesus card with everybody having the Jarzinho or a lot of people having Jarzinho. I know he is up because of the um, Odegaard player of the month that dropped yesterday, which was very good value. So I think some of these cards, yes, I understand why they're up in price, but I think they're due a big correction. And that's what today and this weekend and the coming days could really bring to this game. St. Maximin, I think, is a bit overpriced. And not just the Winter Wild Cards items, but plenty of other items in this game, I think, are just a bit too expensive for what they should be. And I think that this weekend and into the coming days on this game, we'll start to correct some of those prices. So what I really think you're going to see today is the beginning of the sell-off. Is it going to be an absolutely crazy, massive sell-off day? I'm not going to promise you that. It's really hard to know exactly what is going to happen today. But if I had to guess, I do think that we will see some price drop-offs today across the whole market. Now, this gold Mbappe card is one that a lot of people want to know about because they know he is probably going to be going out of packs next Friday as a part of the the team of the year promo as well. And we're going to talk about investing and watching certain cards on the market during the team of the year market crash. But before we do that, we have to see the market drop, right? And if today people start to sell cards and if people start to see prices on like that Conte and uh, I saw Vinny Jr.'s Path to Glory, which is a card that has not dropped off like at all yet inside of this team of the year uh, kind of market crash. Now he is 1.24. So he's down like about 70 or 80K from what he usually is. If people wake up today on Saturday and start to see prices really, really dropping off, that just creates more and more panic. And that could, re could create a kind of like a domino effect, right? When people see prices drop that much and and uh, in that short of a time span they're like oh my goodness it's time it's happening I got to get my cards out of my club or out of my team before it drops even further so that's one thing that could influence a further panic sell today but like I said I have to see some market drop and we have to see some prices really start to go down I'm talking 10 15, 20% drops in price before I'm really, really interested in looking at investing or wanting to buy anything off of this market right now uh, before team of the year. So that's kind of my aspect and kind of my mindset on uh, investing for team of the year. I know a lot of you guys have been asking the question, Nate, when should I be buying cards during this team of the year market crash? I don't think we've seen the worst of it yet. Today might take us to a whole nother level. And then we will start to think about what kind of cards would do well during team of the year as an investment and afterwards because there will be a lot but we can't go to that conversation until we actually see prices dropping on the market now another thing to back up the claim uh, that i am saying today that there could be some market drop today is just looking at the past right history repeats itself so often in this game and if you take a look back to last year kind of following the exact same trend. The market was low around Christmas. We had a nice rise, just like this Ben Yedder signature signings from last year went from 660 all the way to 760. And then what happened? That first week of January, just like this year, we saw kind of a peak on the market. Last weekend, week and a half ago, market started to dip off a little bit, right? And what did we have a week before team of the year? Basically, if we were kind of going back to last year, where we are right now, we are right here at ben, when Ben Yedder was 700,000 coins. That next day, he started to drop off and then look Look what happened the rest of the weekend. Boom, from 700K all the way to 550 on that Monday. Uh, heading into the team of the year promo week. Now, his card really never rebounded and kind of stayed the same price until into February. But take a look at Gold Mbappe, right? Gold Mbappe followed the same trend. The market really dropped off last year, the day, uh, the week before team of the year started. Last year, team of the year started on the 21st, a Friday of January. And look where Mbappe was a week before that. He was a million coins. By the time we get to Monday, he is eight. 80. But that was the low point for a very popular and also people knowing he was going out of packs, Gold Mbappe card. That's why I want to specifically talk about this Mbappe in FIFA 23 
a little bit today. I think that you could see Mbappe drop off. Mbappe's lowest point this year has been 700,000 coins, 690 technically. If you go back and you look, I think that Mbappe will definitely drop off today. Will he go down below 700k? I don't know. It just depends on how extreme um, you know, the selling is today if people start to panic and, and that sort of thing. So just keep an eye on that card. But I really think Mbappe needs to be in the low 700s or maybe even below 700k before we think about buying. And it's probably not going to be until maybe tomorrow on Sunday, maybe on Monday, if the market is really starting to drop off, that we would consider wanting to invest in that card and only that card really uh, because it would be going out of packs this next Friday and you just have to get in early with a guy like Golden Bappe. Of course, you can never try to time it the best because uh, EA can do whatever they want. They could release an insane icon pack. They could release an insane other sort of gamble pack or a hero player pick that would make things kind of go crazy on the market as well. All of those things can't be taken into consideration because we don't know exactly what kind of content EA is going to drop. But we're not buying right now. We are waiting to see if the market drops off today. Now, here's an argument against the market dropping off today. Since the market's pretty stagnant and it's been so for the past like week or so, who's to say that that could not just continue into the day and we could see some prices of these brand new promo cards fluctuate around a little bit and then maybe go a little higher, but then ultimately just end up dropping a little bit lower um, as we go through the next couple days on the weekend. And then maybe we get our lowest point like on Monday or Tuesday. I mean, that's absolutely possible. I just think with the way that the market feels right now, and the fact that I see this Conte, like, oh my goodness, this is so low. It's 795 for this Conte. I mean, another true sign of a real market crash is when you see people listing up on open bid, right? This guy has owned Conte for one game and is listing him up on an open bid at the lowest price on the market, right? That is another true sign of a market crash or open bid listings and people just undercutting and trying to get out. If you want to try to trade today, there will be opportunities to find cards that have dropped down so much when the panic selling stops, sometimes cards are so rare that they just automatically bounce back a little bit, right? Like this Conte just got bought at 795. Could he go back up to like 870? He's really rare, maybe, but I'm not willing to risk it, right? On a day like today where we expect the market to drop off, it is risky to try to trade in the market. And that is why I have most of my coins liquid at the moment, and I'm not trying to do anything crazy at all. So just be careful today on the market and honestly, just watch it and see kind of what happens. And then of course we will react accordingly throughout the rest of the weekend. Now, one place where we want to be active on the market today, searching for a potential buy price for an investment would be the fodder side of the market. 85s have finally come down the mountain from 13, 14,000 coins. They are at 8k again, which isn't low enough for me. I think these guys need to still get cheaper. I want to see seven and a half thousand coins. 7,000 coins is an ideal price for them. 86s, I would love to see at like 12K. 84s, I want to see at 3K or below. I still think that some of this fodder right now is inflated just a bit too much for my liking. I would, I would like to rather take the risk that EA would drop another store pack today or drop some other sort of, um, maybe it's just an L content day with more lightning rounds and more supply that could potentially make these prices drop off just a little bit more and give us an opportunity to get fodder at cheaper prices today on Saturday, right? There are no tradable packs. They did not drop. They dropped like every single uh, store pack that they had added to the code, the Centurion Special, the Centurion's Foundations Pack, the Team of the Week Reboot, but they did not drop. The one pack that we were looking at yesterday um, in yesterday's video, uh, they did not drop the Elite Pack Plus, and this one is the only tradable pack out of the bunch. They also didn't drop the Consumables Pack, which they updated the code for. We'll look at that in a second, um, but they did not drop this pack. If that comes today on Saturday, which it could, there's already a lot of packs in the store. It may be a bit crowded if they do the Elite Pack Plus again today or for the first time today. We'll have to see, but that would be a pack that I would expect to drop the fodder market a lot if it would come today. So watch out for that. And I think most often what I would say to do is just get on some bids uh, in the late evening time um, is probably the best time period for that or early morning, depending on where you're at. I'm talking UK time zones, right? Late night UK, early morning UK, best times to buy fodder because other than that, most people are on the game. 
uh, and buying stuff, get on some bids, try to get some undercuts on, you know, do a club stock, right? We like the 85s again. 86s did great last week. 87s, 88, 89s are and above, right? Even the 91s, these guys are in constant demand right now because of the icon of species that are out there. Uh, do I think these guys go to 70K plus again this week? Probably not. Um, unless we get like a massive SBC for another icon or uh, like a huge upgrade pack that requires like an 88 rated squad or maybe an 89 squad, which seems a bit um, not likely for an upgrade pack. But I like club stocking all the fodder again this week, heading into the team of the year. You know that EA is going to want to drain coins and drain clubs before arguably one of the biggest pack based promos of the year. Now, one of the other pack codes that was actually updated just a few hours ago that I think we need to talk about is firstly this one prime gaming pack and a foot welcome pack now ignore this one over here on the right because it was updated this pack says it's going to guarantee you a team of the year player pause it's not a legit untradeable team of the year it's going to be alone we'll see that in a second but a prime gaming pack 82 plus two player picks in there and a benzema on 30 games loan with uh, seven gold rare players so just a cheeky prime gaming pack for those that have amazon prime also twitch prime link down below in the description you can come to the twitch stream use your prime sub and hook that up to your amazon prime account and get your free pack as well uh dropped every month now they changed the name of the centurions consumables pack from a 50 uh, position mod modifier and 50 chem style pack it's still the same thing it says contains 100 trading items including position modifiers chemistry styles and manager leagues. So they added manager leagues in here, which is a bit of a bummer. And they called it a trading items pack. I don't know where that's going to be, but that's like, okay, here, we're going to give you all the trading items and club items you need so that you don't have to go buy them off the market, I guess. Not going to have a problem with that, to be completely honest. Who, who complains about not having to go and buy those off the market? But then this pack right here, the one we just said contains a team of the year player. Well, EA came back here and said, hold up. We did not mean a legit team of the year. We meant a loan team of the year. So it's a foot welcome pack, I guess, for somebody uh, who has not opened FIFA yet or has not played FIFA before team of the year or maybe up until team of the year. I don't know. But uh, this pack was like, wow, that contains a team of the year player. That's a pretty nuts pack. Um, that is going to end up being a loan team of the year player pack as well. So that's not a huge update, but I know people are talking about that welcome pack and like, oh my goodness, are they going to give out team of the year players? No, that is not what it sounds like to me. Now, one thing I want to talk about in this video as well as today's content on Saturday, like we said, and we've been talking about since the beginning of the week, we will be getting a mini release of the Centurions cards. Uh, since EA told us on their website, we are actually going to see a, a mini release today. It is not going to be a normal Sunday mini release. It is going to be today on Saturday. We will see three more. We're assuming three more foot Centurions in Team 2 added to packs. And those three have already been leaked, we think. Uh, there are three leaked cards that did not make it into packs today. First one is Rafa, right wing card Benfica, good link to Enzo Fernandez, and a very popular Pacey super sub from last year at the end of FIFA 22 with a Tots card, I believe it was, uh, or some other card that he got that was very, very popular then. I do remember seeing some of that card. Also, we have Seamus Coleman, a Premier League right back. If those are his legit stats, hopefully he's got a little bit more pace and a little more physical, but that will be a pretty cheap uh, right back that I'm sure some people will be very interested to use in their Premier League squads. And the third and final one that we have leaked is a French center back, Palois. Um, if he does have 82 pace, that could be pretty interesting. We always love throwing a cheap, or EA always love to throw a cheap French center back into the mix. Now, I don't know too much about this guy, but that to me is like a, a, a Ramos type pace boost. Or that's that's like a Giroud type pace boost from 37 pace. If he goes to like even high 70s or 80s, that could be at least a pretty interesting card to try out for cheap. High and average body type, controlled, not very good agility or balance, but hey, you know what? A cheap French center back from Ligue 1. Can't complain too much about that. That should be a part of the mini release today. Again, EA said it will be dropped today. Now, the only other piece of content that we could maybe see today that is leaked right now is this showdown. I still think it's a bit early for the Origi versus Bikatarian showdown. Showdown SBCs have, of course, dropped on. Um, they've dropped on Saturdays before. Uh, it's a big weekend, of course, of derbies, big matches, El Clasico, one of those matches, right? And then this one coming on Wednesday, it could be today. I think it would be more likely that this would drop tomorrow on Sunday, but this is the only leak that we have right now. Could there be another player SBC today? Absolutely. Watch out and see if Foot Sheriff or anybody else on Twitter is leaking something before content today for a potential additional SBC. 
see. So personally, what I'm doing right now with my coins on my account, I'm losing a little bit at the moment. I have some Ledley Kings uh, that I had actually bought at 170,000 coins and even a couple that I had left from Thursday at 180K. And uh, this is another area where the market's dropping right now. This Ledley King card was 180K plus yesterday. He was almost 200,000 coins earlier in the week. But I think the addition of the um, Aspilicueta card that we had yesterday in the promo team and just some panic selling like you see here in general, right? Second owner tradable. There are definitely some traders panic selling right now on this card. Um, that's also new, so it's been a bit inflated and a bit rare uh, for the hype. So I'm losing a little bit of coins on Ledley King right there. But that's another area where the market is starting to drop into today on Saturday. Yesterday and Friday, like I said, it was just a very stagnant day. I flipped some Socrates. I, my best flip was this Royce from 400 to 460. This Verratti went from 665 or 667 to 720. Fred was break even. I broke, um, lost tax on Cordobas that I bought 300,000 coins. So it was kind of an up and down day. I bought a Royce just a bit ago at 345. I think he's like 380 right now. So I'm going to take the quick cash on that and sell that card. It was a very stagnant day on the market yesterday. The big storyline, of course, was the Zlatan Ibrahimovic card extinct at four or 3.8 million coins. Actually, about an hour ago, Zlatan was down to 3.9 again, just bounced up to 4.2. But this is a card that I think will absolutely drop off in price. Uh, and man, this Conte, I'm telling you guys, he's down so much, but I'm very interested in trying to flip this card uh, because he is very, very rare. So like 800K for him just seems super duper low in price. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him here in the next hour or so. But this Lantan was down below 4 million coins. I think he's gonna return there today. I think that people are gonna sense, again, we're heading to team of the year. Come next week, this time, we're going to have team of the year cards, potentially a Benzema, potentially a Messi card that will be around like 5 million coins and will make this card look not even worth near that much. So if you tried out those lots and have fun with them, I'm going to try them out sometime this week. But I think it was very, very, very expensive, as is the rest of this promo team. Verratti is cool. If we just take a quick look over this promo squad really, really fast, I think this promo team is cool. I really do. Um, but I think that it just was not that hype for most people yesterday on this game. Some people are saying this Team 2 is better than Team 1. Um, I, I think I agree with that from a standpoint of there's more like players in that middle tier, like Fred. Aspilicueta is really neat. Um, you've got a 300k Royce. You've got a... Uh, 600k variety, which is a bit expensive, but I think it'll drop off a decent amount. But a lot of people still see this promo as an L, right? Because we didn't get that many insane players, and the whole rest of the promo squad is not that great. I completely understand that way of thinking. But at least yesterday, EA gave us a cup objective. This was something that we liked from the Winter Wild Cards promo. It's almost the exact same as Winter Wild Cards. Centurion's Cup. This is nice and something to grind. So if you want to do something today or you're not playing Weekend League, four games a day you have to play with max four clubs which is pretty interesting that they make you have a max number of clubs but you kind of use a different team i don't mind this i know it's going to be sweaty but it's for some extra nice packs including an 83 times 10 which is very desirable especially headed into team of the year so make sure you're out there grinding that content if it is interests you and then lastly in sbcs yesterday the only sbc that we had was this declan Rice, medium high 3-3. Three, three. Like I said, a lot of people are not happy with this because it's three different squads. It's only 120K. And I mean, if this guy was on the market, I really think that he would probably be somewhere around like 90 to 100,000 coins, at least right now, maybe in the early portion of the first uh, couple days of him being in packs, maybe even a little bit more than that, maybe like 150k. So I think this SBC is not terrible value and people must be excited to do this card if all of the other Premier League center defensive mids in this game are literally just dropping right now, like Zakaria, even Yaya Toure is another one of those cards that is just down a lot right now at the moment. Zakaria is 220,000 coins after he was like 240 250 yesterday and again this Conte card is just like almost unexplainable how down he is it's it seems like a good opportunity to trade with this car with how low he is but also considering the team of the year market crash and the, the team of the year promo that is on the horizon it's just a tricky situation so I might play it safe today and keep my coins liquid maybe I'll try to mess around with a Conte card and flip that or maybe I'll just take the safe route that's probably what I will do. But that's going to be the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Good luck with your weekly games and we'll see if the market goes bananas today. It's been Nate, the foot account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.